Ground Zero! The label of the future, nigga. If you was in the state of Arkansas, you know last week was crazy on social media. You know, it was a bunch of opinions being stated about who paved the way for Arkansas, like with this entertainment music business type. Yeah. And you know, you one of the OGs in the game, you know, like you've been putting it down for years. I done seen that myself. I know everybody else have too. That, that's something that ain't been overlooked. You didn't chime in on too much of the conversation that was going on. Like, how do you really feel about the whole situation? And does that even matter? I mean, I really just don't entertain a lot of, a lot of stuff, you know. Like I said, when I called in on the, uh, on the underground radio, you got to give um, Freddie his props. He opened up the doors. He did a lot of stuff that a lot of us was trying to do. And he actually got that platform and he done it, you know. So that's why I was telling a lot of the OGs, like, man, you got to support the, you know. You got to you gotta give the young man props. He did that, you know what I'm saying? We, we tried to get on the level that he was on. And he did that. But I always was about the money, you know what I'm saying? And another thing I say, when you look at paved the way, it all depends on what your definition of that is. You know what I'm saying? Is it the person who opened up the doors or or where you from? I mean, it, it, it's all different types of definitions of what you could call paved the way. My definition of paved the way might be different from your definition. You see what I'm saying? But, but at the same time, it, it don't matter. I mean, long as the door opens and you leave the door open for the next person to go through it, I feel like that's what it's about, you know, at the end of the day. As far as who paved the way, you know, that, that's on the individual you ask that question to, you know. Most definitely. You know, I know you done seen a lot come and go since you first popped it off with this music shit. But, like, somebody like you who's been putting, you know, putting in the work, how does that make you feel, like, to see other people you know, all these other people with all these different comments, because it was people bringing up situations I never even seen, I didn't even know occurred in Arkansas. Like, it made me feel it the way. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm really rich, for real, for real. <laughs> so that's all that matters, as long as I can take care of my family, and I can do what I want to do. I mean, it don't matter, though, none of that really matters to me, that's obsolete, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everybody needs to go try to get through some money, you know? Instead of worry about who paid the way, who gonna pay the way to pay them bills for you uh, coming up this week? Real talk, the first on the way. <laughs> was it like third? Well, one day. Hey, but look, real talk though, like, why do you feel like it got blew out of proportion? Cause everybody feels some type of way. Everybody feel like they done something. And you know, everybody got the right to feel how they want to feel about it, you know. But you know, I mean, you asking me about me, I don't feel no type of way about it, you know. I can say I feel like I did this, I done that, I did, you know, but that ain't, I, I mean, bro, I, I can't get into all that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like at this point of my career, excuse me, I don't do music to um, try to get a record deal or the, at this point I do it just because I like it, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it for so long and it's still, I still get a check every month from it. So, I'm not, I'm not in a position to try to get a record deal. I don't give a fuck how old I am. You know what I'm saying? I still make good music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people try to put an age on on hip hop. That, I mean, two chains to get on to, he was like 35, 37, somewhere up in there. You can't put an age. I mean, hip hop is the only genre that put an age on when you should stop. Now, if you make good music, you make good music. Lil Duval didn't get a hit until he was 40 something. Even though he was a celebrity at the time as a um, as a uh, comedian, he still didn't get on with his music until and he been making music a long time. I don't know if anybody never knew that. Lil Duval, Lil Duval been making music a long time. But you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't really get into that. I don't I don't wear my uh, feelings on my sleeve, so I, I don't really I don't really care. I mean, you know, you had to ask on the people that was coming about it and trying to downplay a lot of stuff. I, what I don't do is try to downplay anybody's accomplishments, whether they sold uh, five CDs in the parking lot or 100,000 nationwide. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to downplay anybody's accomplishments because one thing about this music stuff, if you're really spending your money and you're really putting in the time, I mean, you can't do nothing but salute that because a lot of people not even spending the quarter 
on nothing that they doing. You know what I'm saying? They just putting out music. They not promoting. They not doing anything. So if, if you spending your money on this, I, I, I salute you because it takes a lot of money to do this, and there's no guarantees with it.